What's up, guys? Welcome to Meatballs SOS. Uh, and tonight we are going to be talking about the Badger Claw Outfitters Backcountry Fire Kit. Um, this is the Nylon Cordura. Uh, this has got a YKK zipper. All right. Um, it doesn't say if on his website if it's waterproof, repellent, or resistant. Uh, so we're going to test that out. As always on the show, you got your little loops here, your hoops, whatever, to attach to a bag. Um, yes, this is a kit, and in this kit, you do get some goodies. Um, you get these little shaving sticks here. You see those? It's pretty cool. Fire fuzz. Okay, gives you about two of those. Um, here is your little ferrocene rod. This thing's great. Um, you guys have probably seen me use this little thing, and it sparks really, I mean, instantly with, like, minimal pressure. So his ferrocene rods are awesome. Uh, let's see here. This little scraper. Okay. Attached to a piece of 550 cord, which is nice. This little scraper here. Seems a little sharp. And then another shave stick. All right. Let's back in our, our bag. So... Here, starting off the bat, you got yourself a little a baggie here. You can keep everything in. Oh, don't forget, you get your Mora knife, the companion that comes with it. All right, look at that. These things retail for about twenty five ninety five. There is a bellow, a collapsible bellows that he does uh, send, but he, yeah, I think he must have missed my bag. So, uh, John from Badger Claw Fitters, if you're listening, you forgot my bellows. Um, but not a big deal. Um, and then the Yuko matches. Okay, get your little uh, waterproof All right, emergency matches. So it's a nice little fire kit. Um, and then you guys saw on my other video on this, so I'm not really going to go into detail with the Yuko matches. Uh, but that's where I got the idea from for that video. Let's do it separate. Oh, whoops. Some more little, uh, let's see here, fire starting material. And I think that's it inside the bag. Yep, bag of goodies. So, as always, to be fair, on this show, we are going to test out the, I'm going to say it's definitely water repellent um, for a little bit on the outside. We'll see. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's water resistant. I don't think it's waterproof. Definitely not waterproof. What I do like about this bag is that the zipper does have a pocket. And this is the pocket, guys, that I was talking about on uh, Hidden Woodsman Pouch. That if if they had, you could, you know, I, I really truly believe still, and I'll argue that tooth and nail, uh, if he put that little pocket in there, I think I think he might have himself a, uh, uh, a water, an actual waterproof bag or pouch. But at any rate... Um, this bag here this is the nylon cordura. He has the wax canvassed one, so that one's going to be more, you know, water resistant. Um, this little pocket here, let's see here. Yep, it goes right inside, right inside this little hood here, um, and that's it. Just tucks away. So, all right, guys, here, let's do it. Let's see what it is and what it isn't. All right, so we'll start here in the back. Throw. Pretty dry. That was the back side. Front side. Okay, so we do have some penetration on the zipper. Alright, which is expected. Okay, if it's not a water resistant zipper, which they do they do make. Um they do make them, but it's this in this case. This is not a water resistant zipper. Um, so it's water, it's definitely water repellent. Um, let's see here. Well, all right. This is a fair video. As you can see right here, okay, water did make its way in right here. But the bag is dry. The plastic bag's not wet. It's dry. So, yeah. That's a good... I, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, hey, for 
for for twenty five ninety five guys, you can't go you can't go wrong. If you're somebody just starting out and you're in you know in for like the basic basics, I mean, dude, you, you guys get a blade, you get a ferrocene rod, um, ferrocene rod, not a fairy rod. I know somebody said that I said fairy rod. And I, I think you got really bad audio, but whatever. Um, ferrocene rod. Uh, you get your matches. You know, your little collapsible bellows, um, and then those, like, little cotton ball soaked waxed, uh, nuggets, and, uh, yeah, Badger Claw Outfitters. I like it a lot. Um, something else I am going to take with me to my overnighter coming up here shortly. Um, I'm excited to do some live videos with you guys on that when we do it that night, but, uh, that's all I got for you. Stay safe. Good night.